Before moving on to the pollution part, let's see the distribution of Earth's water. So you can see from this graph uh, that the distribution of water on the Earth's surface is extremely uneven. So only 3% of water on the surface is fresh. The remaining 97% resides in the ocean. So uh, of fresh water, 69% uh, resides in glaciers and 30% uh, uh, in underground and less than 1% is located in uh, lakes, rivers and uh, swampy places. Okay. So if you look at the other way, only 1% of water on the earth surface is uh, usable by humans and the other 99% of um, the total fresh water is situated underground. Now moving on to the water pollution. So we have a number of definition for water pollution. I have given a definition here. Uh, another definition of water pollution is any physical or chemical change in surface water or it can be groundwater that can harm living organisms or uh, make um, water unfit for certain use is called as water pollution. So the contamination of the water um, by the presence of microorganisms or uh, sewage matter or industrial waste thereby resulting in the deterioration or the change of the water quality which is also known as the water pollution. So there are various definitions for it. You can study any one definition and this water pollution is considered as one of the uh, Im important environmental concern. Now moving on to the sources of water pollution. There are various classifications of water pollution. So the two chief sources of water pollution are point sources and non-point sources. Let's see one by one. The first one is point sources. Any single identifiable sources of pollution from which pollutants are discharged such as pipe, ditch, ship or factory. So this is a simple definition for point sources of pol uh, water pollution. So it means that the waste, uh, waste from some factory or an industry is completely uh, dumped into a particular water source from a point. So this is called point source of pollution. For example, uh, factories and uh, sewage treatment plants. These are the two common types of uh, point sources. So, if you take factories, it includes uh, oil refineries, then uh, paper, pulp and paper mills, or some uh, chemical industries, then uh, automobile industries. So, all these factories, they typically discharge many pollutants in, into their uh, discharged waters. So, we call it as effluents. You might have heard industrial effluents and factory effluents. Even uh, some factories, they discharge their effluents directly into a water body. Others uh, may treat it themselves before it is released and then send the treated effluent to a stream or river. So there are various ways in which the industries are dealing with the wastewater or their effluents. So there are three uh, common sources of point sources uh, are given. First one is commercial and industrial business. They use hazardous materials for the manufacturing and maintenance and all the waste produced out of it is discharged into a water body. So these waste can include uh, solvents, then uh, petroleum products like oil, gasoline, etc. Then it can also contain uh, heavy metals. The second type is from agriculture. So this can include animal feeding uh, materials, then uh, the waste generated from animal treatment plants or the storage and handling of agricultural products, petroleum, fertilizers, etc. Then third is the municipal point sources. This includes uh, wastewater treatment plants then landfills where we uh, dump waste materials. And then uh, utility stations, which includes uh, coal powered power plants and also motor pools. Motor pools include uh, automobiles, um, that is the waste generated from the um, automobile industries like uh, coolants, motor oil, etc. All these comes under point sources. So to control this point source discharges, the factories, uh, sewage treatment plants and other point sources must obtain a permit from the government before uh, they can discharge their waste or uh, these effluents into any body of water.
okay so prior to discharge uh, the point sources must use the latest technologies in order to treat their effluents and then reduce the level of pollutants so they can initially reduce the level of pollutants and then release into the water body now moving on to non point sources non point uh, source of pollution is mainly caused due to rainfall so this rainwater uh, when it falls on the ground it uh, picks up and carries away all the natural and human made pollutants and then uh, finally depositing them into some lakes rivers or any water body it can even be deposited in the groundwater source so this non point source pollution uh, can include excess fertilizers herbicides and insecticides these herbicides they are used to destroy unwanted vegetables and insecticides are used to destroy unwanted insects so these ways can be from either agricultural lands or uh, residential areas and second is oil grease and toxic chemicals it can be from the uh, urban runoff runoff is nothing but the excess rainfall okay and then energy production is also another source of oil grease and toxic chemicals then sediments sediments can be from uh, poorly managed uh, construction sites or uh, crop uh, lands and forest lands then uh, nutrients nutrients can include uh, as i said earlier nitrogen and phosphorus and some toxics so these sediments can also degrade water quality by contaminating uh, drinking water supplies the next one is salts uh, it is mainly from irrigation practices and uh, air uh, sorry acid drainage it is from the abandoned uh, mines okay the next is bacteria and nutrients these are from uh, livestock and then um, uh, like septic systems usually when the septic systems are faulty uh, from these places non point sources of pollutants can be collected so these uh, pollutions have uh, harmful effects on drinking water supplies and also fisheries wildlife etc 